Hi, in this tutorial we will be taking a look at the basic setup and usage of the WP Express Checkout plugin by Tips and Tricks HQ. This WordPress e-commerce plugin allows business owners to sell products both physical and digital from their website. Customers who wish to purchase an item are directed to a pop-up window once clicking on a buy now button and the entire transaction is handled with PayPal. This ensures customers do not need to leave the website to complete the transaction. So let's take a look at the simple setup and then I'll walk you through the checkout process when using a payment button created with the WP Express Checkout plugin. I've arrived in my WordPress dashboard where first we'll need to ensure that you have the WP Express Checkout plugin installed and activated. If you don't yet have the WP Express Checkout plugin on your WordPress website, you can simply add it by going to plugins and clicking on add new and searching WP Express Checkout. Make sure it's the one by Tips and Tricks HQ. Otherwise, you can go to our website where you'll find it and you can simply install it from there and then upload it on your website. Once that's done, we'll be able to move on and we'll go to our WP Express Checkout plugin menu and then click on Settings. Once you're in that WP Express Checkout Settings menu, we'll focus on the General Settings tab first. So in this General Settings tab, Ensure that your currency code is correct. For this example, I'll be selecting US dollars. Ensure that your currency symbol is correct. And the thank you page URL, ensure that you do not delete this. This is where your customers will be directed after a successful transaction is complete. Scrolling down further, ensure that you paste in your PayPal credentials. So you'll need to go to your PayPal developer account and you'll need to get these from your apps and credentials menu. Ensure that you paste in your live credentials and your sandbox credentials, both the client and secret keys, to ensure that the transactions work. If you're going to be running live mode on your website straight up, ensure that you check this box here. Otherwise, you'll only be able to run test transactions. Scrolling down further, I'll draw your attention to the PayPal button style. Choose how you would like your PayPal buttons to be shown. You can alter them from the button type. Say so you want it to be the checkout, button shape, button layout, you can choose there. You can choose your button height, button width, and button color. These allow it to better flow with your website. Scrolling down, if you'd like to enter in a global shipping cost and a global tax percentage, you can enter these in these fields here. And the debug logging section in this tab you can enable if you intend on troubleshooting at any stage and then you'll click to see your log files when you need to. So click the save changes button when you're happy with any changes that you have made in that general settings tab. If we scroll back up to the top, the next tab we'll be looking at will be the email settings. From the email settings tab, ensure you have the send emails to buyer after purchase option checked. This ensures that any purchaser will receive a sales notification. Ensure the from email address has that sales at your domain format to ensure that the email is sent successfully. You'll see that in mine, I've got the sales at pluginemo.com, which then reflects my domain. You'll need to alter yours to reflect your own domain. Scrolling down further, you can add some email merge tags to the buyer email body if you know how to. If you don't, please take a look at our email merge tag documentation for more information on that. Scrolling down further, ensure you have the notification email address in this field so that you as a seller get an email when someone purchases an item. Again, you can add additional merge tags to the seller email body if you know how to. Once you're happy with those, just save the changes at the bottom there before we take a quick look at the advanced settings tab. Within the advanced settings tab, you can choose how the price is displayed. You may need to alter it dependent on the currency you will be using. From here, you can also set a terms and conditions. So basically to enable this, just check this box and then you can alter the checkbox text. Save those changes too once you're ready to move on. Now that we've completed the settings required to use the WP Express checkout successfully, Let's go ahead and we'll create our very first product. Click on the add new products menu from underneath WP Express Checkout. In this example, I'll be creating a digital product that I'll sell from this website just so I can show you 
how your customer can receive a digital download straight after they've made their purchase from that thank you page. So I'll quickly run through that now on this add new product page. I'll start by giving my product a title in the add title field and then I'll give my product a description within this description field down here. Once you've added your description, you can scroll down and add a price for the product. This will be the base price before any variations have been added. So I'll go with $4.95 for the basic wallpaper image. You can also allow customers to enter the amount they'd like to pay, which is perfect if you're offering a donation style product. From the variations section is where you can add options for your customers to choose from. For example, if you're gonna be selling a physical item, such as a t-shirt, you might like to add sizes here, colors, or if the product is gift wrapped. For this example, I'll go ahead and I'll create a group. I'll name my group definition, and that's gonna be the definition of the wallpaper image. So basic, it won't have a price modifier, but high definition will add $2 to the original price. I'll also need to enter in the high definition image here by selecting that from my media files. There we go, I've added that in. And you can create multiple groups of different variations. So I could create another group there if I needed to, or I could add different variations to this one. It's all up to you how you set that up. But if you need to delete one, you can just simply click that garbage bin option right there. I'll display mine as a drop down but also know that you can choose radio buttons to display your variations. The quantity you can set here, this will be how many of the item the customer will receive. So it makes sense for my wallpaper image for them to just get one of the file, but you can enter that in if you need to, or you can allow the customer to specify the quantity that they'd like to purchase. For example, if you're selling a physical item and you're selling perhaps t-shirts again, you might like to allow customers to specify the quantity because they might like to buy two of your t-shirts that you're selling. Scrolling down further, add a shipping cost if it's a physical item, as mine is just a digital item, I'll leave that blank. And you can also add tax in, I'll add 5% tax. If it's a physical product, ensure that you check the, this is a physical product checkbox to ensure that the shipping address is collected. Scrolling down further, I'll need to add the download URL I'll select that from my media library there, insert that there. And I'll also add that as my product thumbnail. So the product thumbnail just gives that small snippet of what they are actually purchasing. So that pretty much brings me to the end of that. I'll scroll up and I'll publish out my product. So from there, you'll see your product short code there. You can also find the short codes for any of your products by clicking on the products page. I'll simply copy it from this individual product page there, go copy, and then let's paste that onto a page so I can show you what that will look like for your customers on the front end of your website. So I've copied that, let's go to pages, add new, that's just simply adding a WordPress page there. Give your page a title, and then we'll need to choose the short code block. Simply paste in your short code. So if I was just to publish out this page now by just adding that simple short code, it would only display the product buy now button. I'd like to also show those details, um, the name of the product. I'd like to show the um, little description I've given and the thumbnail image. So I'll just simply need to write template, template equals and one. There we go, that's perfect now. And we will go publish. Let's view that page so we can see the product that we have created from the front end of our website as if we were a customer. Perfect, there it is. You can see I've got my page and I've got the product that I have created using the WP Express Checkout plugin. So then you can go ahead and you can check out as if you were a customer if you wanna see that flow. So I'd go ahead and I'd click that Buy Now button and then I'd start filling out those PayPal fields to successfully purchase this product. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'll now run through the checkout process with my PayPal Sandbox account. So I'll click that Buy Now button I can see that straight away the pop-up window appears where I can see that first group of variations. So that's the definition of the image. It's $4.95 now. If I choose that high definition, it adds that extra $2 in there. I can add a coupon code here too if I had a coupon code. 
I'll continue. I'm happy that it's $7.30 in total. I'll use my PayPal account, so I'll click the PayPal Buy Now button. Just note your customer can also use their debit or credit card if they wish to. So I've just gone ahead and I've entered in my PayPal email address and I've entered in my password. I'll click that login button so that I can see I'm in my sandbox PayPal, but your customer will be in their actual PayPal checking out right now as I am with my sandbox account. So I'll use my PayPal balance there, that's checked. I'm happy with the $7.30 USD. Scroll down and I'll click the pay now. If your customer completes a successful transaction, they'll be directed to that thank you page. They'll see their purchase details here. And if it's a digital item and you've correctly entered in the media files, they'll be able to grab them from the bottom of that thank you page as well as in their email if you've set that up correctly. So here I can see the wallpaper image, the basic one, and the definition one here that I added that extra $2 to receive. So I'll click on that and there it is there. So let's go back now and I'll take you back to the dashboard where we'll be able to see how this looks for the administrator of that website. So I've arrived back in my WordPress dashboard and I've gone to the orders menu found under the WP Express checkout main menu, clicked on that and I can see here the orders that have been completed. So obviously this was just a sandbox transaction, although I can see that here and I can see that one wallpaper image has been purchased and I can see the total, the date and the status which is paid. I can view further details about that transaction by clicking the edit button and it's also within that edit button that I can find the address if I needed to ship the item out. So that pretty much sums up this tutorial on a basic run through with the WP Express Checkout plugin. Hopefully that helps you a little bit set up the WP Express Checkout plugin on your own WordPress website.